What's up guys, Gilbert Burns right here for another breakdown UFC 302 in New Jersey, New York. First we got the champion Islam Mahachev against Dustin the Diamond Poirier and here we go with the breakdown. Let's go, you guys know I have 8 points for my breakdown, you got the overview, I have the styles, I study a lot with this one, look. I got the physical attributes, the fight strategy, the fight camp, the mental and psychological factors, and last but not least, the prediction and analysis. So here we go. And we go to the overview here, my intro, we got notable wins from Islam Makachev, he obviously beat Volkanovski twice, the first time was very very close fight, but the second was the highlight, high kick KO, he got the submission second round freeze against Charles Oliveira, and we got the crazy win streak against Bobby Green, Dan Hooker, Thiago Moses, Drew Dober, Davi Ramos, and Armand Sarukian. And we're going to my guy Dustin Poirier with the uh, with notable wins. He got the last win against Ben Wasserlis. He lost to Justin Gage and then got a win against Michael Chandler. I lost to Charles Oliveira. But that guy is a battle test. He's a dog. He beat Conor McGregor twice. He beat Dan Hooker. He beat Max Holloway, Eddie Alvarez, Justin Gage, Anthony Pettis. And now we're going to do my second point on this breakdown: the styles. We got Makachev, like I said, 13 fight win streak. And we're going to the things right here. The striking. Islam Makachev has a high level of striking. His defense is very good. He's very accurate. A lot of accuracy on his strikes. Good kicks, good punches. I think he's a, a high level kickboxer. But he's well known for his grappling and wrestling. And he chose to compete with Khabib. just beat, not just beat, but he beat Dustin Poirier before. So. It's kind of like his, his brother is the guy that he trains together. Those guys have been like his brothers for, for life. And training Habib is going to be a very good look for this fight. And the gas tank, we saw in that first fight against Volk. He's landing got a little bit tired on that. We'll see how he's going to handle the gas tank for this fight. The power, I think the power for his land, the power advantage for this land is going to be on the wrestling or the grappling. Whenever he gets his hands closed, I think he's going to be the stronger guy, but I think the, the main point here, what is notable for, for his is gonna be the wrestling, no guy gotta use the wrestling and the grappling to beat Dustin Poirier. But two things I wanna I wanna see. Makachev said he had a surprise for Dustin in one of his interviews. I wanna see which surprise is that, what he's thinking, he might think he's gonna strike a little bit more. I don't think so, but it might be that the high kick. Let's see the respect if he's really putting respect on Dustin Poirier because Dustin Poirier is a freaking dog. Let's see how who's gonna put the pressure. I think Dustin should put a lot of pressure from the beginning, and let's see. That's I think is one of the differences. Let's see who's gonna make the first mistake. Usually, his land doesn't make a lot of mistakes. Now we're going for Dusty. Southpaw against Southpaw. With that being said. These guys gonna low kick. We should wait for a lot of low kicks. I think we should expect low kicks. I think calf kicks gonna be right there. Low kicks gonna be right there. I think Dusty is going to use a lot of low kicks, especially trying to be Thiago, Pitbull, Alvis. You know, trying to be these guys. I think he's gonna use a lot. But about the striking, when we talk about striking, Dusty is more boxing. For sure, he's gonna use calf kicks, low kicks, maybe a couple. Push kicks, but I think it's gonna be more boxing. I think it's gonna be one of the best weapon. It's gonna be the boxing. Grappling defense is is an exclamation point. How is he doing? You know, Michael Chandler got his back. He was able to defend, but Michael Chandler was able to took him down, hold him down the whole second round. Khabib got a submission. Let's see how his grappling defense is gonna be on that fight. His wrestling defense. He got taken down by BSD. He got taken down by, by Khabib. He got taken down by Michael Chandler. Let's see, he's wrestling. If you see the gas tank in the, in the sheen, I think these are one of the, the good points from, from Dusty. I want to see how he's going to do with that gas tank after a lot of wrestling, after a lot of cage, after a couple of things down. I think he's still going to do good, but we got to see. And he sees one of his best weapons. He got 
He lost if I'm not wrong. He only lost a corner. Michael Johnson and for sure just engaged with the high kick. Other than that, that guy is a very good team. Now we're going for number three on my on my list right here. The physical attributes. Our like I said, I think grappling or wrestling wise it is for Isla. But punching, I think is, is that thing for you. Now we've got to see a couple things with the weight cut. That's one thing that like that might take a little bit power away. It might affect someone in the, in the cardio aspect. And another physical attribute too, I think they're gonna give a lot of confidence to to his life. It's gonna be the hot babies there on his corner. Khabib is there in New Jersey. Those guys in New Jersey are already training. That's gonna play a little bit effect. But punchy power I'll give to Dustin Poirier. Grappling, defense, and offensive. That's all I wanna see, I think. The defense from from Dusty, he needs to get better on that. But the offensive from from his lines, that guy is a monster. When we talk about the grappling, but we got the guillotine with Dustin. That's another physical thing that he always go for that guillotine. Let's see if he really goes. Let's see if he's really tight. But the knockout that Dusty said, he just gave an interview these days, and he said he's gonna knock him out of cautious, and the referee gonna take him out of there. I think that's gonna be. I could have won. And another thing too, that fight, if I'm not wrong, was booked a little bit after UFC 300, right? Around that week, I think it was after that because they offered the fight to Arma. So to be honest, these guys have six weeks, if I'm not wrong, six or seven weeks of full training camp to do five rounds. People kind of sleeping on that a little bit, but I want to see if that's going to affect someone. Yes, especially he's lumping them all the way to Dagestan, finishing in New Jersey. I want to see if that should affect a little bit. And number four, we're going for fight strategy. He's alone. I think he should utilize it. He got to use the wrestling, the grappling. And I think he got to grind him out and work to get a submission. Or make the guy very, very tight. And then work on striking a little bit. He tries to get a finish. But if I was one of the coach or, or if they ask for advice, I know they will not. But I think that will be, you know, put pressure, use the kicks. But number one is going to be with the wrestling and the grappling, grind him out, try to get a submission. And I think that's the best strategy for his line. Who's the Khabib experience that could be for him, could be beat, beat him. He should be on his corner. I think he's going to be on his corner. I think that's the fight the strategy to play for his line, Makachev. And the other side, this fight strategy for Dustin Poirier. I think number one, you got to use his boxing, got to use those calf kicks, those low kicks, got to move good. You gotta defend the wrestling. Make sure you don't get taken down, especially at the beginning of the run. You gotta be able to hurt that guy a little bit. Use a couple low kicks. You need to hurt his line at the beginning. Don't get taken down at the beginning. Let's see if that guillotine, if that guillotine is gonna work, you know? I think he's gonna try. But the priority, he should use the boxing. Like I said, he's doing good work with Diane Davis. He worked with, with Tiago Pitbull, Mike Brown. Those are his corners, so these guys know what they're doing. I think that's the thing. And another thing, like I said, support against Southpaw, Loki's gonna be there, Kafka's gonna be there, and Jesse should use that. So the goal is to hurt Isla, make sure you defend up with the downs and get the KO. That that would be my strategy for the Poirier. And now we're going to the fight camp number six. We know that Poirier is training here in South Florida at ATT. And we've got a high level guys right there, such here. I'm Mike Saruki and my guy Renato Moicano. I don't know if you're training all of these guys because there's so many good guys there, but I know you're training with Saba. He's one of the Bellator fighters, high level guy too. Tiago Alves, Johnny Abel is another one that he used to that I think can help him. And he's on the other side. He's training with the guys at Dagestan at BBG. But I just heard from my manager Ali that was there with him. He's in New Jersey. He's the actual in front yet in the gym. And you know these guys, Umar Nurmagomedov, Uzumar Nurmagomedov, I think Bala Muhammad is there. They got a couple of crazy guys there. I think the fight came from these both guys at a very high level, very good. But now I'm going to the number seven, mental and psychological factors. The mental game, the mindset, the mental fortitude. Those are things that are very, very big, especially on the championship fights. And we're going to the five rounds right there. Isla is super, super confident, especially having that beat. It's perfect when you're going to a fight that one of your teammates or one of your brothers already beat the guy, you know, they already set everything for you, you know. 
So I think he's going to be super confident. He's motivated. You know, if he beats Dustin, he's going to be 14 win streak. That's the biggest number in the lightweight division. He's about to break that record. If I'm not wrong, he's tied with Tony and with Khabib. Beating that is going to be the number one lightweight. You know, so I think he's very motivated. He's a freaking monster. I think he's luck coming with confidence, with great mindset. And on the other hand, Dustin Poirier, he fought the title a couple of times already. He lost to a baby, he lost to Sharps. This might be his nice shot, you know, but this guy is a dog. I think he come very confident to this fight as well. His mind is very strong too. This guy being a lot of ups and downs his career. Everybody heard about his story, the his life, you know, way. His wife, he's one of his big uh, motivation there. So we saw in that corner fight when he came in the way he changed and then he beat corner, he beat corner again. 299, you saw his back was against the world to fight. Benoit said to me, he did what he did, his spectacular fashion, crazy finish. I think both of these guys are super confident, but we'll see if something was breaking. I don't, I don't think those guys are gonna break. We, we eat for a try. And number eight, a last one, my analysis, final analysis and prediction. How that fight might go, I think that fight can go two ways. I think, I don't think going to, he's going to a decision. I think it's clearly two ways. Or Dusty will knock him out. I think that would be the play. I don't think the guillotine is going to work, but I think Dusty Poirier really can knock him out. Or is can get a submission finish, you know, like maybe Sakurao taking the back or, or Kimura or something like that. I think those are the scenarios, right? It can be a war, it can be a four or five rounds war. I don't see point to five rounds, but it can go, you know, if Island don't get a finish, if Dustin maybe, you know, break, hurt those legs a little bit, hurt him with the hands, I think Dustin has a chance. And based on the facts, you know, that, that, that I showed to you guys right here, I think my final prediction will be Island Makachev by submission on the third round. But I want my guy Dusty Poirier to do good. I, I hope he wins, get a finish, but my prediction is gonna be Islam Makachev by submission. Let me know who you think is gonna win, who you believe is gonna win, who you got. Let me know in the comments. I'm about to give a, I'll do a giveaway to you guys, so make sure you guys do all your comments right here. It's gonna come at nice UFC head sign for you guys. So make sure you do all the things. Let's go.